up this morning and I threw up. Um, I did not take an anti-acid last night. I wonder if that's why, but also I haven't I've been feeling nauseous and my stomach's been hurting for like a week now and apparently everyone at work has felt the same. Where people take their days off and they think they feel better, they go back to work, they feel like shit. It's like a stomach bug or stomach flu going around. Um, I'm, I don't have a fever. I'm not, like, other than normal body aches, I'm not, like, congested. I occasionally have a headache, but that, I thought that was because of my neck. Um, I'm hot and I'm cold at the same time. That could just be me. <clears throat> I ate some oatmeal and toast with some coffee this morning. Did it make me feel any better? Sometimes I just gotta stretch out my face muscles. That way when I sing, I'm not like, you know, straining shit. Um, I did finally go swimming last night after work. Lap swims at 7.15. I get up at 6.30, so it was a good timing. I only stayed till 8. So I'm not getting home till like fucking 9 o'clock. But if I want to cram in... Wow, I'm wearing too many clothes. I'm too hot. If I want to cram in a workout on a 10 hour day, then it's gonna have to be in the evening because there's no way I'm waking up and going at five or six in the morning. There's no fucking way I would get through my day. I thought about it. Oh. I'm trying to wean myself off of deloxetine because I read so many bad um, side effects, health effects, and my stomach started hurting, so I started thinking, oh no, it's my liver. Look at this fat. I've never had fat arms like this before. Oh, check that out. My tattoo is healing. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Which means if it's peeling, it's healing. Next week, my eyebrows will be peeling again because <sighs> I'm on my way to get those redone. Hopefully, it's brighter this time. It faded so much and disappeared in some places. I want it to be obvious. So, we'll see. I'm going to clock into work later to see a family that I rescheduled. Monday, I have to see them. I don't normally work Wednesday, and I definitely don't see families on my day off, but to make up for Monday, I'm going to see the family um, this evening. Um, I'm not feeling the best, but I don't think that I'm, like, contagious. I'll just wear a mask. Sweaty, but that's normal for me now. The deloxetine makes me fucking sweat. Oh, so I attended a um, virtual web 
webinar about um, working with Native youth. And you know, one, um, if you've ever attended a Native anything, or Indigenous, or whatever you want to call people that are from this land, um, the introductions always start with what tribe you're from, who your ancestors were, stuff like that. And so, usually, um, when I introduce myself, I don't, I don't usually use that as a part, and I'm like, fuck that, I'm, I'm Aztec, right? And so, <laughs> I just uh, introduce myself as Aztec, but working for until I love tribes. And I'm going to keep doing that because we don't. We Mexican indigenous people have gotten so used to saying we're Mexican, we don't introduce ourselves as our native roots, as Aztec or Mayan or Inca or Colhuacan or whatever we are. But we are all that. We're Apache, Comanche, all that stuff. We are just so mixed. And uh, we don't even recognize it amongst our own people. So I'm going to start introducing myself as such. I mean, shit, if someone that's 1% indigenous can enroll in a tribe and call themselves whatever that tribe is, me being almost 50% should be able to identify whether I'm registered or not. Like, it's not about tribal registration or tribal affiliation. It's about bloodlines. It's about indigenous roots. It's about who we really are as people, okay? Cut out all the, I guess the words, <laughs> cut out all the words, because I mean, honestly, I'm not even speaking my native language, and I don't even know what the fuck it is, obviously, it's like, Aztec, <laughs> but I don't know what it is, maybe I should learn it, I mean, I would love to, I don't know anyone that speaks it, everyone I know speaks English and Spanish, the two languages of the people that conquered our people. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn if it's still even fucking possible. If the language is still out there. I'm sure it is. I mean, Mayans kept their language pretty well. And, and they kept their communities um go visit you can see the Mayan villages and the Mayan ruins and shit I just don't know I think the Aztec ruins from history channel from what I remember from what the white man told me um, that a city was just built over them so they may not be as preserved and just like out there like the Mayan ones and a lot of the Mayan cultures are like really really um they live in the outskirts of the cities um kind of like they always have kind of I mean not like completely they're like civilized um but a lot of them still live in, I don't know what to call them. I want to say Adobe homes, but I'm not really sure that's what they're called. I mean, <sighs> let's just say I'm digging and I need to go visit. Mm. And I figured out my dissertation idea. I'll talk about that next.